All right, guys, welcome back. So let's quickly share, uh, talk about these uh, QBTS and quantum in general. So we talked about QBTS, okay? So pretty spot on regarding the pump and everything. So QBTS, I was talking about, I think I didn't talk about this as much. So somewhere around here, pump and dump in, I mean, so somewhere around March, exactly what happened. But we didn't go to these 13, 15 levels back then, but I was talking about in the video that this is a pump and dump and it went down crazy. But right here, March, what, May 8th, somewhere right there, we're talking about the possible squeeze. And if it got above the 13 all time high, 1320, this could go a lot higher. So this is exactly what happened essentially, if you take a look at the daily chart, but I myself got smoked going long going short last week because i was i'm a breakout trader i like breakouts because when stocks break out you see how it can move but then i just stepped aside i'm like no i'm not doing it and it's essentially this stock gapped over that resistance it didn't fight it through during the market hours so that's normal and um yeah i'm essentially watching from here a few things so very first thing I want to show here is, yeah, the pre-market high yesterday was $19.45. This is what I'm watching. But uh, at market hours, this $17.80, this is my resistance for today. If it gets back above these levels, if it builds above these levels, this is your resistance, essentially highest uh, basically price during market hours. So. Another thing is this gray line on my chart represents the uh, five day moving average. This is where it bounced today. Volume is insane. Implied volatility, very expensive because there is a risk, right? It can go down pretty big. It can go up pretty big. That's why you got to be careful with this name. So there are one thing that I want to show here that I already shared for YouTube members uh, were essentially the orders, the selling orders, so dumping in my opinion happening at these levels where a lot of orders came in, cluster of orders came in. So I'm I'm assuming these are the now like very, very large uh, orders where pretty much people are profit taking and people are dumping and another tin foil going into the weekend. So this is a long weekend. Uh, so market is still early, okay? I'm filming it literally one hour uh, into the market open on Thursday. So tomorrow is um, Friday and we have a long weekend. Monday is off, market is closed. And I'm assuming it would be smart uh, that they will do some sort of an offering and raise funds, okay? But by no means these quantum names uh, worth these valuations that they are trading with, okay? So if you take a look at the um, Ion Q, Qubits, Qubits is freaking $5 billion, right? And on the other hand, uh, like today, uh, Advanced Auto Parts is up 40% as well, 45%. But they have so many stores, so much revenue being driven, right? This is already like a business out there. I mean, many of you have maybe even walked into this store. It's only worth $2.7 billion, okay? So advanced out of parts is 50% cheaper than your QBTS at $17. So this is how you wanna judge the valuation. Like if it gets to insane levels, it doesn't take like, you don't have to be too clever on that one. But we all know that we are playing momentum. But all I'm saying is that these stocks do not belong uh, to these valuations. And I think the backside will come and the dumping will come uh, in the next few weeks. In my belief, again, this gap somewhere right here at least will get filled for qubits. So pretty much $13.23. This is the area I would be watching as a first target. But then again, it can do anything it wants. Uh, volume was the highest two days ago, essentially right here, 300 plus million. Yesterday, slightly lower, it was negative. And today we will see how much, but so far within first hour, it's already traded like 60 million volume. So gotta be careful with these quantum names uh, and not chase both options and stock at these highs in my opinion. But again, this is just purely my opinion. I'm not telling anybody to buy or sell. 
I do believe that these, these stocks can go significantly higher. So you might be ending up holding the bag with a 50% loss if you're somebody who's chasing it literally at 17, 18 dollar levels to try to make like 10, 20%. I mean, to a risk of, I mean, risking losing like 50%. I mean, it just doesn't make sense for me personally, again, okay? So I'm not telling you to buy or sell, but again, this is purely just my opinion. And I'm watching these names essentially for some sort of an exhaustion. And essentially into the weekend, they do some offering, dilution, dump stocks. And uh, next week, I think these stocks could fade. But again, this is purely for entertainment and educational purposes only. This is just a short video I just wanted to throw out while I have time. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care. Peace.